Hi budding biologists and welcome back to part three of exploring how cells are arranged in multicellular organisms. So, so far we've compared types of organisms, explored cell differentiation, specialization and outlined the hierarchical structure of multicellular organisms by looking at cells that make up tissues, that make up organs, that make up organ systems. If you're not already familiar with this content, please play back and check out the previous clips. In this clip, I'll be explaining, using an example, the need for hierarchical structure of organisation from organelles to cells to tissues to organ systems and organisms. Firstly, let's review the structure of hierarchical systems. Firstly, what do I mean by hierarchies? Hierarchies are systems in which are organised in levels where each level has a role and form um, for the basis of the next. All multicellular organisms are organised in a hierarchical structure. Organelles and subcellular structures are the most basic features of an organism, performing specific metabolic functions within cells to sustain life. Cells are the next level up. Groups of homogeneous cells, that means the same type of cell, make up tissues. Different tissues form organs. Organs operate together within an organ system. And all the organisms, um, organ systems are coordinated by the brain for the multicellular organism. Due to hierarchical structures, each layer is more specialised and allows for a higher level of complexity within the organism. Now let's look at an example of how, how hierarchical structures of an organism can be structured. The circulatory system is responsible for delivering oxygen and nutrients to cells and take away wastes. It has a series of organs, tissues that are part of this system. Firstly, let's look at the heart. The heart's role is to pump blood through the body. The heart is made of cardiac muscle and nervous tissue. The muscle tissues contract and release involuntary. This makes the muscle tissue distinctly different to that from what would be skeletal muscle that you'd use in your arm, that you control. The involuntary cardiac muscles have specialised cells called pacemaker cells. The nervous system sends signals to these pacemaker cells that prompt them to speed up or slow down contractions of the heart, causing the changes in heart rate. Cardiac muscle cells appear in long fibres and have a single nucleus. The shape allows for the tissue to contract continuously. Another part of the circulatory system is the blood. It's in a fluid matrix called plasma. Within the plasma, there are cells of red blood cells and white blood cells. Red blood cells have specialised structure of not having a nucleus and containing haemoglobin molecules. This molecule allows for the maximal absorption and transport of oxygen around the body. Hemoglobin is made up of four protein chains and a heme group, which is made of iron. Oxygen bonds to this heme group, meaning that the red blood cell is able to transport four oxygens at a time. The use of hierarchical structure of organisation of organelles, cells, tissues, organs, organ systems and organisms allows for a huge amount of complexity within organisms. Hope that clarifies things and see you next time, budding biologists.